So taking this concept of using money or finance to create more of what we want to see in the world, I think that's where impact capitalism comes from, uh, or these concepts of technologies for humanity. Um, I'm going to take one step back here and say that 50 years was born about five years ago, where um, Seth and Nella, who were the ones who started it, kind of like saw this lack of financing going towards entrepreneurs that were doing good things in the world. And kind of like similar to how you imagine DAOs coming together as a group of people who care about the same problem, the same thing here, like how can we support entrepreneurs more in order to bring these visions to reality? And in that point of time, it was about, okay, no one is actually like supporting backing founders solving impactful visions. Like a lot of the things in, in venture capital were like not really meaningful or like there was this impact investing model that was like, oh, we don't really create much returns because like, we're more of like philanthropy, but we try to make the case that we could actually support founders and create one unit of profit equals one or more units of good. And that's our entire model. Like, um, And not only that, like for us, it is much more exciting actually build. We are all builders in 50 years. So it's much more exciting to just like build with them, um, be, be there for hiring support uh, whenever they need help in the lab, whenever they need help in storytelling, creating videos, um, leadership, motivation, like whatever the founders need to like, scale and like achieve more and more impact. Like that's where we are. Uh, so it started with this notion of how do we funnel all the like yeah all the capitalist models of like venture scalable business to achieve more impact in the world and give it to like a lot of the founders and help them along the way. But also this kind of like changes throughout like the years, right? Because now with Web3 and with other uh, concepts coming around, there's like um, these concepts of, as I mentioned, money backed by nature or augmented bonding cures or regenerative ICOs and different ways to finance our actions and uh, care for the commons. So different, there's a lot of public goods and a lot of like impactful visions that are maybe not venture scalable or maybe like right now don't have like a business mo economic model and they suffer from this like free rider problem where no one cares for them, no one cares for clean air, no one cares for even like meditation or for food health or organic farmers or even like climate things. So it's like, how do we create different ways and different economic incentives to reward either retroactively or to support impact driven markets. Uh, so that's also like exploring different ways, whether that is through maybe impact certificates that we can create an economy based on nature or different mechanisms like money backed by nature.